Every part of Louisiana has a fire rating. It's based on how safe an area is, like how close emergency services are and access to equipment and personnel. But what does it actually mean for you? KPLC's Devin DeStefano finds out. They're going to find out the fire rating for the area you live in, and it directly impacts the cost of that insurance. Fire ratings are based on a scale of 1 to 10. The higher the number, the worse the rating. It's determined by several factors. We strive all the time to meet the PIAL standards of the training, of the truck response, of equipment, everything that's covered under that blanket of PIAL from our dispatch center to our water district and water department. Ward 6 Fire District 1 and Houston River Fire are both volunteer fire departments. Chiefs Todd Parker and Dean Lappy say a fire rating isn't taken lightly. There is pride. There's pride in our station. There's pride in our equipment. There's pride in doing things the right way. There's pride in that rating. When it comes to the cost of homeowners insurance, fire ratings can have a sizable impact on your cost, especially if you have a rating of 10, which means you live more than seven miles away from the nearest fire station. Between a four and 10, we can write you at maybe three grand, but if we have to go to citizens, that same home probably be six, seven grand. And oftentimes, homeowners with a class 10 won't be able to find any insurance coverage. Rural areas generally have worse ratings than cities. Manpower is probably going to be the biggest factor in a rating in a rural area because we depend on volunteers. And, and it looks at how many volunteers respond to each call, how quickly they respond. In DeQuincy, Devin DeStefano, 7 News. Districts throughout the state are required every five years to submit information to the Property Insurance Association of Louisiana in order to be held accountable.